Hello everybody, my name is Dudanka, welcome to Minecraft. We are about to build something today. See, I've been um, encountering a problem when building my storage system. I've been expecting this mountain to be able to house all my storage needs. I thought I could dig and dig and dig and never encounter the end, but I did. I dug a hole in the mountain. You can see it there in the background. <laughs> really ugly. Let's mobs come in and we will attempt to cover that up today. Yeah, and try to make it look as natural as possible. You see how this, this uh, piece of the storage system just sticks its butt out of the mountain here. I'm really not happy with that. Yeah, and we will attempt to pull the mountain a bit further this way. Well, and hopefully make it look good. I'm gonna try to lay an outline first, um, just to see how how far up I have to go, how much room I need, <laughs> how much of this, well, everything of it will be filled with stone, I guess. Uh, no hollow hollow spaces. I don't want to create some some sort of um, yeah unintentional mob farm or something. This will be completely solid. How far out do I have to go? Well, I guess I probably will add some pieces further out because there's every everything related to detail is missing at this stage. I will um, rough up the surface and, and use other blocks and add some sort of variation later on. Right now this is just this is just the outline. This is just the, the, the solid base mountain that I'm creating. And I'm trying to get an idea of how many blocks this will take. Oh, also, um, I wanted to, to um, lead this little, this little canal, this, this water thing that comes out of the base, into the not yet created riverbed of the bear. There's two um, suddenly ending rivers that I want to connect and then the kind of like a sewer system and the, the, the little river coming out of my base can flow into it maybe you can decorate it with uh, plants and stuff a little a little path on the side maybe bridges yeah for now I'm just trying to create this opening really not that easy especially in survival Update! Update 1! Yeah, this is what I've done so far. It is uh, it is something. It is getting somewhere. I'm not sure what to do with the upper part, uh, the, the top part, but the bottom part is in a place where I can really start filling in stuff. I've made the riverbed. I made an outline for the riverbed. Um, yeah, so you can get an idea of what I'm trying to do with the water. And now I'm just going to start filling in blocks, I guess. I'll have to wing it at some point. And I just, I just have to get started. Grab my scaffolding just to get up there, even if I'm not sure if that is the right thing. Nah. Don't think I can... You know what, I'm just building myself up. I guess I have to, to win this. Just no plan, just place blocks. Okay. Another update with lots of mobs in the background. I've been building out the entrance. Spidey, shut up. Um, what I do not like is how the the door is covered by this part here. Maybe we can just rip a hole inside so it's kind of a a little overhang with a sort of bridging this. Ah, oh, this is nice. 
I do like this way more. It's getting somewhere. It is getting somewhere. Yeah, but I do have to fill this whole part up with stone. Yay! Woohoo! So I tried to connect the um, the artificial mountain part into the the sides and to the natural mountain, and I'm starting to think about how to get details inside there. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess I have to fill in some of the corners on the underside uh, where I didn't. Ah, crap. Above the entrance? Yeah, there's a few rough spots. Let me, let me just get my, my scaffolding. Okay, this is, ah, uh, this is just a, a corner that is a little bit too harsh for my taste. And I don't see those parts when I'm building above, of course. So I just have to, have to smooth these corners out, get a few blocks down here so it looks organic, or oh, somewhat organic. And this has to go. This is not on the part I'm building, but right next to it, and it, it's just too much of a contrast, and diorite really doesn't look good. So we cannot have that here. Let's just and a little bit of stone over. Yep, yep, much better. Okay, almost gone. Oh, I missed a piece. I I missed something. No, 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 no. Let me vanish. Be gone. Also, a nice part of building with uh, walls that are more than. One layer thick, you can just rip holes inside of it and make it look hopefully a little bit more 3D-ish, sort of. Give it a bit more, give it a bit more depth. Yeah, I like that. Okay, next, next part. Let's get up there. Let's get up there via Inner Pearl. Yeah, pull move. <laughs> trying to create some sort of transition between stone and dirt because there's always a layer of dirt on top of the stone and because dirt, coarse dirt, will be this the part in between. Also we could we could use cobblestone. Just in between stone and coarse dirt. Sort of makes sense, at least for me. <laughs> Sort of a gravel substitute. So the order would be stone, cobblestone, coarse dirt, dirt. Forget the dirt for a minute, I have done something. The whole last evening, I believe three or four hours, I've been placing stone. And I think I've been placing every bit of stone that was missing. Take a look from the top. The complete roof area is is finished, I believe. Still missing dirt and, and stuff and details and plants. 
but the shape is complete. This this was actually really painstakingly slow, but I'm so happy right now. Oh! Started placing um, andesite, cobblestone, coarse dirt and dirt on top. This is getting somewhere. Starting to fit in really well with the surrounding mountains, I think. And now we gotta fill in all the missing dirt. Dirt is placed, now the green stuff, the leaf stuff. I've been thinking we should add mossy stones, mossy cobblestone, mossy, mossy stone bricks, everything mossy at the bottom part of the, of the stones, the mountain, because, well, this is sort of a sewer system. There has to be mossy, uh, wet, slippery stone stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that all the, the, the plant life grows on, especially close to the water. So let me just try out how to... Not every block, that would be far too much. But a few, and I believe I have to... I have to... Surround the whole entrance with mossy stuff and leafage. And maybe... Does this work? Yeah, I think that works. I think that works perfectly. Wonderful. Maybe even... Just try to reach... No, I can't reach that right now. That is fine. I think this wall is way too flat. Maybe we can break it up a little bit and go even deeper. And fill this up with probably probably cobblestone and a bit of moss and maybe leaves on top. Maybe that is a good idea. Looks like it's growing out of the cracks in the in the wall. Added some more leaves, kind of like bushes growing out of the the, the wall and the earth surrounding it. I put some details into this well into into several parts of the the rocks. Some stairs, some slabs, some some block variations, some underside in some parts. Here, this could be smoother. It doesn't have to be all that blocky. Bit of dirt up there. Hmm. Sometimes even even stone fences and underside fences to simulate sort of um, stalactites. Stalactites. I'm not sure. <laughs> The hangy bits, the, the, the dangly bits, okay? Um, now I'm busy trying to take care of all the surfaces that seem too smooth. Everything that is bigger than a 3x3 three three area should have some variation. At least that's what I've learned from YouTubers. <laughs> so Try to get this part to Come a bit further out. Starting with cobblestone, so I can place dirt on top later on. And this part, oh my, I'm not sure how to come out a little bit. I want a gap in here. Whyever I want a gap here, let's connect with a brick fence and a side fence. Sorry, sorry. Rough it up a little bit on the side. Mm, well, yeah, not really happy. Maybe some green stuff. Maybe some more leaves as well. In, in. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is just lacking some more leaves around. It. May might be might be um too many leaves. In total, but I can, it's Minecraft. I can always rip them up again. And let 
this part hang down quite a bit more. That should do the trick to break this surface up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that does something. I've also put some more thought into the riverbed and the surrounding floor area because I wanted it to actually look wet, the riverbed I mean. And that is where Potsol comes into play. Looks really good, I believe, together with the coarse dirt and some mossy blocks and, 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 and path blocks. Yeah, now I'm about to place some more stony bits all around. Much more detailing later. We have green bits, we have more dangly bits, we have uh, stony bits in the front. Oh, and a zombie in the background. Nice. And trees on the top. Still working on those though. Now we're gonna grab the water to fill in the riverbed. Woohoo! See, I've made a proper sewage entrance, sewer entrance, whatever, with metal bars and stuff. So we cannot accidentally fall out. <laughs> yeah. No, because um, zombies might, might get in or drowned or whatever. We are gonna fill all of this stuff in. And I'm really happy about the pots all, if I might say so myself. I think this looks like a really uh, muddy riverbed. <laughs> Just as it should be. We might even be placing lights down there later on. I'm not sure. Hidden lighting somehow. Mm, okay. Just fill in all the corners. What we also need is um, veg vegetation around the water, in the water. I don't have many lily pads, sadly. Well, can always add those later. And I believe I want to build a little bridge just over here to these stony bits so we can actually cross the river without being slowed down. And I want to have, yeah, another zombie in the background. Great! Awesome! Awesome! More water. All the water. Here, this is waterfall. It's, they look nice. And they create a really nice ambient sound. I like that. Might have to put in some more work in the borders because I've only uh, detailed, really detailed, the riverside that is uh, close to the mountain. <laughs> the other part is, yeah, not that done. <laughs> okay, just gonna shape this a little bit more. Don't have that much dirt, but I want to get as much as possible for now for now oh and it's getting dark nice yeah okay water here and water there and now we are well we might be done now just gonna snap those two three here and the last bucket yes this is the last bucket yes woohoo we did it yes i like what i see next step is fire no getting rid of fire actually for this little bridge i thought i'd use the campfires the um not burning campfires, <laughs> just the wood parts, because I really like the, the texture. Looks like a makeshift bridge that someone just just smacked down there without um, putting too much effort in. And it just looks like the ideal connection between this little campfire stony place and the sewer entrance. And I'm thinking I will add some simple wooden lanterns around here 
on some blocks that are darker on the on the bottom part that is in the water so it looks wet. <laughs> spruce fence! Spruce fence! Everything is solvable with spruce fence. You just need some very very simple lighting here. Nothing fancy. Just one or two lanterns there and maybe something sort of similar on the other side. Maybe a bit different. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to look the same, I guess, huh? Maybe two lanterns would be too much. Now that is too close to the ground. Sneak that down. Just one. Simple, easy peasy. Yes. I like that. Yeah. Roses and white thingies. One more. Nothing here because no grass. Okay. Dead bushes. You can always use dead bushes here. Yes. Also on the other side, I want the campfire, like, this stuff is a bit trampled over here. Okay, ferns are always an option. And more flowers, just for a little bit of a color sprinkle. Don't know if that is an expression, but I, I use it now. Okay. Yes, ferns could be too much, but I don't care right now. And these saplings, I kind of hope that they don't grow into trees because they have a block next to them which should keep them from growing. And then they count as a sort of, well, sort of a bush. Just a bush. Yes. And always more ferns. Look what I have found. I have grabbed some glowstone and we are going to hide that. Some hidden light sources in the riverbed. As I said before, maybe here. Yes. That is good. And don't you worry, we are going to hide them properly in just a minute. I know that glowstone really doesn't look um, that well. That good. Really pets? Nope. Better. I need more of those. Okay, and on this side also some glowstone. Not too many of them. Just enough to give the riverbed some sort of... Well, sort of a little glow. Hmm, what else do we need? Do we need... All the stuff to hide them. We need spruce trapdoors. They should be perfect. Should be really well hidden next to the pots all in the ground. Bam! Yeah, that is good. And the lighting is dimmed, but still. Oh wait, do I have to have to waterlock those? Yeah. Oh, the stairs also. Okay. Anything else? Back to the spruce trap doors. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, lighting still does come out from under the trap door, but you don't see the surface of the glowstone. Hello, bye bye. There was one more. Wasn't there one more? Let's take a look. Oh, I like that. And no torches. Not a single torch was used. Hmm. I like this. Well, everybody, what have we done today? We have expanded the mountain. We have done so very well, I believe. We have added lots of details. Lots of details. We have built a riverbed. Nooks and crannies everywhere. We even put iron bars on the stalactites or stalactites. Well, the bits coming from the ground. We have added a little campfire place and a bridge to, towards it. And... I'm really pleased with the outcome. I'm 
I'm happy with this. The part I'm standing on is something for later date, not today. <laughs> I've been at this for 10 to 11 hours and I'm done. <laughs> and that means we are coming to an end with this episode. Thank you everybody who watched. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye bye.